Hey everybody. Yeah, I know I said I was just gonna do one more, but um I enjoy doing that open cup so much. I decided I'd do another one. This one has stay little blue as a base coat. And uh I got um I'm using some of my new paints, my Arteza iridescence. Um using some of those. Uh there's some green, lime green. And this is kind of a, it, it, I think they call it a red, but to me it looks like a vermilion artist loft uh, color. And uh, then I have one of my favorites. Some, ooh, that's pretty already. I have some turquoise. And, uh, Yellow. Why do they always want to go towards the edge? Somebody tell me that. Always. I mean, I know my table is slanted and that may be part of it, but there is some primary blue. Look at how beautiful that is. I love that. It's so pretty already. And this is one of my new colors. It's, um, I think they call it electric purple. Um, it's an iridescent um, purple. And um, then I have my favorite thalo green, which is the uh, Liquitex thalo green. I used to think that one thalo green was the same as another thalo green. Not true. They're all different. Um, you know, each uh, manufacturer and there's some thalo blue in there. I want to be sure and have some in the painting, uh, not just on the outside. But uh, every company makes it uh, their colors a little bit different. They, you know, um, you may think that because they have the same name, they're going to be the same. But um, to me, that's not true. Um, to me, they look very different. And um, I don't know if that if that's that way to everybody, but. Um, that's the way it seems to me. I got lots of paint here. But on these, more than any other pours, I really like to have lots of paint. Um, I think that it gives you, see the cells are so beautiful, especially on the outside rim. And um, I want mine to be beautiful all the way through. And I don't like to have to sacrifice, you know, um, anything. So I like to have plenty of, um, plenty of paint. So I feel like I can pick and choose what I want to keep and what I want to pour off. I always say that. I don't know if it makes sense to y'all, but, um, the more paint I have on there, uh, this is like way extra paint, but... Um, the more paint I have on there, um, you know, I can afford to pour some off if I don't like what's there, you know, um, I can choose. And I like that. I like being able to pick. Some purple. Ooh, look at that. Look at that purple coming out. That's pretty. Really cool, look at that. And some primary blue. Lots of primary blue, we had lots of that left. Okay, that's that. Look at this, how beautiful those edges are. That's what I love. I wish there was a way to um, prevent those from getting poured off, but I don't know what one. All right. <clears throat> Oh, I gotta put more juice in this. Oh, uh, come here, juice. And I ordered some more of that, and it hasn't come in yet, and it's irritating me. Um, everything takes so long these days. I, I, I shouldn't complain, because at least I can get stuff. I mean, I know there's some people that are, you know, in places where they can't get things, so I shouldn't complain, but, um, it just takes so long these days. Amazon Prime is not Prime anymore, you know. 
um, it takes forever. And um, I hate that because I'm a procrastinator and um, a lot of times I don't realize I need something until, um, you know, I really need it. <laughs> and um, it's kind of bad. I should learn to be better. Got a little bit off here and there. I'm really liking the way this is doing though. Uh, I'm trying to salvage this beautiful um, stuff going on over here in this corner. I have to get kind of up and around. And uh, if I can circulate the paint around, I can move it to where I'm pouring off, you know, a different area than that. Oh, this is making y'all dizzy. But I'm trying to save that red and yellow area right there, so I'm, I want to pour off the blue. There we go. I got it. Now, see, I saved. By doing that, I saved this part over here, which is what I wanted. I don't mind pouring off that blue background. I wanted to save the orange and yellow part. This is really pretty, I think. All right, let me get it down. I'm still doing my circle technique a little bit. I wanna, there's some blue cells popping up from that blue background and the blue base coat. That's cool. I'm getting some purple coming down in the middle. Or blue, I'm sorry, blue. And a little purple, there's purple there. Okay. I really like this, it's very, uh, very different. I like to be able to make things that are different than, you know, what I normally do or what other people do or you know, however you want to look at that. That's crazy looking, isn't it? Alright. Well, this canvas is kind of, it's kind of being patchy. Little, you know, I don't use a base coat and uh, sometimes it bites me in the butt. Like these little patches right here. Um, it's okay. I just fill them in and that works um, it really does you can't tell um, when it's all said and done you know you can't tell that I've done that but um, I really have to do it but tonight I've had to do it several times I don't want to and um, it's just one of those things all right, let's torch this thing again. Uh, that's a crazy looking one. It's kind of wild. But I like the colors. And I like the cells. It's interesting. Love that red, that vermilion color. Um, I really like that color. I've used it um, quite a bit and I really like it. It mixes well. It looks really striking against a whole bunch of different colors. You know, you can mix it with a whole bunch of different colors and it looks really, you know, it really gets your attention. I like that. I like the cells in this one a lot. They're really pretty. And there's some blue ones popping through there, you can see. Okay, well, I should have put a base coat on this one. If I'd known it was gonna do this, I would have. 
but it's um, kind of popping through some places. But this is all you have to do. I mean, I know it may seem kind of stupid and stuff, but I do save quite a bit of money, I think, um, by not using one. Um, and it really doesn't, you know, this is not that big a deal to do. Um, I don't know. Uh, I'm just not going to go back to it. I, it seems wasteful and useless. And to be honest, I don't really enjoy putting them on. I mean, it's not all that much fun um, to mess with them. And I don't really, you know, think all things considered, it's just, uh, it's just a waste. And I've never had to fool with them and fill in as much as I have tonight. For some reasons not, everything has been giving me a hard time. But it's not usually that way. Alright, let me let y'all see. Usually I don't have to fill anything in. They don't they don't do that. And if they do, it's just around the edges a little bit. Alright, take a look. Crazy, huh? Alright, let's look up close. I'm trying to keep my hands out of the camera where y'all can see good, but see that iridescent purple? It's it's neat. I like those iridescent colors. I like new paint. I don't care. <laughs> oh, look at that. That's beautiful. I just like new paint. I like getting new paint, new pigments. It makes my day. Um, I love trying new things. Well, I think that's pretty, y'all. I hope y'all like it. Um, more than anything, I hope you've enjoyed being here. I appreciate all the support, you guys. Uh, our channel is growing, and y'all are responsible for that, and it means the world to me. Y'all have a wonderful rest of your night. Join in next time. You never know what we're going to be up to. All right, I'll see you later.